All right, what's up, guys? This is Spooky, and uh, welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear. This is a uh, part five. Can't believe we made it this far already, and uh, we're here in building number two. Anyway, um, it turns out, and I'm gonna show this to you guys just for kicks. It turns out that if you put on the infrared goggles in this room, that you'll be able to see, um, you know, all the the crazy laser patterns that are here. But um, usually with this room, we're not going to bother with this. We're just going to run right through because we can usually get out before the enemies cause any trouble. But that's just to show you what the infrared goggles actually do and how it looks when it works. So yeah, pretty awesome. Anyway, uh, there's not actually a lot we can do on this floor just yet. And we're going to have to double back here anyway. So um, instead of bothering with this area, I'm just going to run straight through here. Now this elevator unfortunately can only go up as you'll see, um, even though I'm mashing down on the pad right now, it won't actually go downward. So um, you know we're forced to go all the way up here to the roof, which is where we want to go first. We could go to the second floor as well and get a couple items there, but this will be uh, much easier for us in the long run. Here's a spot where this gun actually is useful. Alright, so let's see what key goes to the door. Card number two, and we find another hostage. We're getting pretty close to uh, rank five. Dr. Petrovich is on the second floor, okay. And that is where uh, we'll have to go eventually. First, some time here on the roof, of course. Peaceful time. Like every anime you've ever watched, there's always that one scene with the guy and the girl. And they're on the roof, having lunch together. Oh, you brought me a bento? How nice. Anyway. Card five. <laughs> ah, all right. Now even more times we'll have to switch cards back and forth while we figure out what opens what door. Guess it could be worse. Oh, stop hitting me, please. You'll see that I'm not bothering with a lot of enemies. I'm just trying to ignore them. This elevator uh, only goes down. It doesn't go up. I'm mashing up right now. It doesn't work, but it's fine. Um, we could go to the second floor now and get some work done here, but actually, uh, since we have card number five, it's much smarter for us to go here on this first floor. So that's what we're going to do. Oh god, stop hitting me, please. I'm gonna go back to the regular handgun in a second. Just so I can shoot these things. I could have picked up some more rations, by the way, right before the tank in that little truck. But, um, as it turns out... There are, uh, some rations right here in this door. I forget what card opens it. Card 5. Alright, so rations it is. Let's fill on up. How many do we have? Three? Alright, we need nine. So, uh, this seems to be going pretty well for us. We have uh, most of the weapons already. We have a, a good portion of the cards. Our inventory is filling up. So we're figuring out bit by bit where it is that we are supposed to go. Alright, what does that leave us at? Uh, nine. Okay. Alright, so now, here on the first floor, there's a few items that we need to collect. The first one should be right here. And I forget what card opens this. It's not card five, however. As we just saw. Come on. There we go. Alright, so we get uh, an unusual item here. It's the antenna. And uh, you can see how even though I saw a call there, it didn't work, right? Well, check this out. When I pick the antenna up, I go to the transceiver. And there you go. Now it works. That was jamming our communications. But now everything's over. The antenna. Alright. So now there are certain calls that we'll be able to get. 
Um, I'm gonna go this way next. I'm not sure if this is the way I'm supposed to go yet or not. We are gonna get um, most of the rest of the cards in this building, not all at once. In fact, I believe all the rest of the remaining cards are here in a building number two. I think this is a if this is not a card five door, then we can't open this yet. Yep, card five. Here's another hostage. Okay, the far end of the lock connects to building three. Arnold has the card to the door. Alright, so we need a rocket launcher to defeat Arnold, and apparently Arnold has the card we need to exit building two and head to building three. So just something for us to keep in mind. And I'm just gonna fight my way through this crap. By the way, this water stuff, I should have mentioned it before. Um I guess it's supposed to be like deep water or something. For some reason it damages you if you get close to it. But we can pass through it, it doesn't like instantly kill you or anything. Uh, up there is that exit of building two that leads to building three that the guy mentioned, but uh, we can't get there just yet. There is an item here, though, I believe. Uh, here it is, card six. All right, so now that we have card six, uh, we can clear out pretty much everything else here in this area. By the way, that door up there to the north, that's the one that leads building number three but um, we are gonna need some items if we want to get to building three because for us to get there requires us to cross uh, the desert and uh, you know you would think that that would be not you know not too tough a task for snake but the desert's tricky oh man <laughs> anyway as we'll find out in a second when we get to the second floor um, there are some items that we will need to cross the desert all right so here we are on the second floor finally first time exploring here but we can get through the entire thing now that we have all these keys so first thing I'm gonna do is go east in here if I go south down there that'll lead to where uh, the Arnold's are but I believe there's an item we can get here first Yes, there is. And it's the antidote. And this is uh, specifically an item to cure you of, of poisons. Uh, there's only one place you can get poisoned, and guess what? It's in the desert. So yeah, we need we need the antidote just, just in case we happen to mess up and get hit by something out there. Uh, okay, card one gets us in here. And uh, these are the Arnold's that they were talking about before um, we can't really beat them just yet but the good news is that uh, we can get around them pretty easily there's no need for us to fight them just yet so oh I guess this is card five huh yes it is so I know there's a, a hostage here there might be something else too all right here he is I <laughs> can't cross the desert without a compass. Alright, so that's another item that we're going to need to cross the desert. And indeed, you cannot cross it without it. If you try to, it just becomes infinite screens. It sucks. That way leads to the elevator uh, back downstairs, which we don't need right now. So we're going to go back up here, try to avoid Arnold, fail at it, and uh, go over here. So over here, uh, we're going to find out some more important information. Right, and we find out about a new resistance fighter, Jennifer. <laughs> All right. And uh, what he's referring to by that when he mentions Jennifer being a snob is that um, she won't actually help you unless you're max rank, which is rank four. So just keep that in mind. And I saw one guy in a previous YouTube comments and he said, hey, I couldn't figure out how to get the compass. Well, this is all related. As it turns out, when you're being helped by a uh, Jennifer and you have enough rank to talk to her uh, in certain rooms, she'll actually plant items for you. So this is one of the rooms as an example. And here she's gonna set up the rocket launcher for us. And uh, you need this item because without it, we can't beat the, um, 
we can't beat Arnold, as you know. And this door requires uh, card six, which is why we did the first floor first. All right. So now we have a rocket launcher, which is uh, the perfect item for us to beat Arnold with. But uh, there is one more item that uh, Jennifer can help us out with. We're going to go pick it up. Uh, I think card two opens that door. <laughs> you tend to memorize these four doors because you never really want to... Um, you never really want to have to deal with Arnold. Just going to beat you up over and over. Stupid robots. Okay. So um, here I'm going to use a ration since it's been a while. And um, check it out. I'm going to show you an example of what I mean about Jennifer and the... Um, and the items because there is an item here that Jennifer is going to plant for us. Just to figure out what the right card key is. It's got to be card one, I guess. Yep. Okay, so right now you'll see that there's no item here, but if I go back and I call Jennifer, of course I have to have high enough rank for this so it won't work. Alright, and now we get the compass. Uh, she forgot the other S, but that's okay. Now we've got a compass. So now we have a way to cross uh, the desert and head to building three. But uh, we still have unfinished business here as we still haven't figured out where uh, where Dr. Petrovich is here on the second floor. Now it's right into Arnold. So um, I have to go this way because um, we need ammunition for our rocket launcher right now. It's, uh, it's completely empty as you can see. Would it would also be nice to get uh, some ammo for this submachine gun. It's close to empty. Okay. So here we get lots of, uh, lots of ammo. And what I like to do is just stay up here at the top and get these two. I think that's fast enough. Oh shoot, there's more, that's right. It goes up to 250 now. Haha, <laughs> crazy. Just in case, just fill up everything. Alright, let's go. We can also hold up to 12 rations now, as if that's necessary. We haven't really used too many of them. We've been pretty, pretty fortunate so far. Can we get up here? Nope, we're forced to go around. Uh, card one opens the store, and now we're gonna take out uh, this boss Arnold that's been the thorn in our side this entire area. All right, and four rockets each. This one, the second Arnold, sometimes you can get the right positioning like this. There you go, no more Arnolds. And uh, here we get uh, card number seven. Um, so we've got almost all the cards. There are eight in total. And uh, we've been progressing pretty well here in building number two. Um, but we still have to figure out where Dr. Petrovich is. And there's one little area we haven't checked yet. That'll be, uh, of course, in the next part of Let's Play Metal Gear. Hope you guys are all enjoying it so far. Leave your feedback. And, you know, we're getting pretty far in the game. So soon it'll be time to decide what the next one will be. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all next time.